Hi, I was just finishing up making some carrot juice. Today we have an awesome, delicious, light recipe today. We're going to eat very light today, so we're starting out with some veggie juice. This is a combination of carrot, green apple, and then I'm going to add a little bit of ginger water as well. I made extra for our cameraman today because he's been so nice and so helpful that I want him to be healthy too and get all his vitamin A. Here's my ginger water that I made the other day. I just went ahead and simmered some ginger and then I put in the Vitamix and then I strained it. So it's pure ginger, which is so anti-inflammatory. It's great for motion sickness or if you have vertigo as well. I'm going to try this. I'm going to give some to my cameraman. Cameraman, where are you? You going to try your carrot juice? There you go. Good. Drink that up so you'll be nice and strong to film the segment. Let me try this. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. I could taste the carrots, definitely. And a hint of the ginger. Really can't taste the green apple, but it's in there because I used one for two people. These orange colors make me think of fall since fall just started a few days ago. We're going to start on today's recipe and you're at plant-based way of life. Today we're going to make a spaghetti squash. How many people here love pasta? Yay! I do too. The way this spaghetti squash comes, and let me tell you, it's the season right now. It's out in the fall through the winter. Of course, you've seen it in the store like this. And what I do is I cut the end off and this, but I don't do anything till it's been in the microwave. This has been in the microwave for five minutes just to soften it up so it's pliable so I can cut it. Otherwise, it's really difficult to cut. But now it's still a little bit hard. So what I did was I cut it in half and I cut the bottom off so it'll stand up. This makes like a nice bowl. We're going to fill that bowl with some homemade fresh sauce, some rice, some extra red peppers, and some arugula and spinach because we always want to get our greens in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the microwave again for about three minutes. It's got to be tender because as you know, the spaghetti squash, you scrape it with a fork and it looks just like spaghetti and it's so satisfying. Okay, while that is doing its thing, we're going to make the mixture for the spaghetti squash. I like it to be a little bit hearty, so I'm going to put this stove on. Here's some rice that I boiled the other day. I took one cup of brown rice with about two cups to two and a quarter cups of water till it comes to a nice boil. Then I shut the stove off and I let it simmer to all the water dissipates. Yes, it goes up and away. Another sip. Mmm. I love that carrot juice. Okay, so your rice is on the stove. I'm going to add to that. So let's just add the peppers first. These are peppers that I cut up before just in tiny, tiny pieces just to add more substance to this dish. And then I'm going to add some spaghetti sauce. This is homemade, by the way. Fresh sauce I made the other day on one of my videos. It's got fresh basil and garlic in it. So we'll pour that as well. And that will be your liquid to make this mixture so it doesn't stick. you got a nice amount of fluid in there, liquid. And that sauce has been all spiced up. But you can always add more. I usually add garlic and onion all the time and then my trusty veggie blend that I get at BJ's. Love it. Okay, we'll let this warm through while our spaghetti squash is cooking. Mmm, smells so good. Yum. That's really got to heat up for a, a little bit there. Hope this stove is on. There. 
move it to that one. Now we're going to cut up some greens. I told you try to put in greens with everything because greens are just so full of nutrients, even calcium, protein, and fiber. I like to take two knives and I put the arugula and spinach in here and I just crisscross. Just crisscross it like this. You could even have your children help you with this. It's a lot of fun. You don't have to chop. It's just another way to make your greens into like a bigger than a confetti consistency. And that's about it. See, it's nice and chopped up. We'll add that at the end so it doesn't get overcooked. Let's see how this is doing. This still has to cook. I don't know about you, but when fall comes, I just love, like I said, having all kinds of squashes and very um, hearty de deals, not hearty deals, hearty meals, <laughs> hearty meals that are just satisfying and comforting as well. We're trying to juice more too. We're doing a lot of wheatgrass and a lot of celery. Okay, let's see how this is doing, if it's soft enough. Oh, I think it's going to need a few more minutes, another three minutes on here. I only discovered the spaghetti squash about five years ago. I'm so glad I did because instead of having to have pasta, you could basically put anything you want on that. Like sometimes I'll put my um, vegan nacho cheese sauce on there as well and I could add some broccoli in there. And it's just endless what you could do with spaghetti squash. I never had it growing up. My mom always made the the acorn squash usually, or the, the winter squash. And I didn't like vegetables back then, but now just I can't get enough of the vegetables. This still has to warm through. I'm gonna give it a taste to see what we could add to it. Like I said, the sauce already has garlic, onion, and basil. Mmm, it's so good. What really makes it is the sauce, because it's got a lot of garlic, a lot of onion, a lot of basil, and it's giving this dish, it's gonna give this dish all its flavor. Because the squash doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it's still good as is. Yep, our squash is ready now. Oh, that's a hot pan. Oh, put it up here. Oh, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna put it on our plate now and add everything. Oh, ha ha ha! I'm gonna do it like that, but I did. It only took a second. Now I'm going to add the spinach arugula to the rice pasta, I mean the rice sauce mixture. I'm going to stir it around. Incorporate the greens into the rice with the sauce. Put it in at the end so it doesn't get real wilted. You want to keep a nice little crunch on your greens if possible. <clears throat> okay, it's time to plate this. I'm gonna fill up your spaghetti squash. Mmm, look at that. It's okay if it overflows onto the plate. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Yes. We'll keep this one for later for whoever wants it. Let's fill that up. I like 
when it overflows because it just, to me, it looks pretty onto the plate. Like so. Mm. Smells good. I wish you could smell it. I'm smelling all that garlic. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna try this one. Mm. Get some of that spaghetti squash on my fork, some of the rice, the basil. It's hot, so be careful. Mmm, that looks so delicious. You've got to try this. It's very satisfying. You get the crunch from the spaghetti squash with the rich flavors of the rice coupled with the spaghetti sauce and the peppers. I gotta go, guys. I gotta eat the rest of this. Mmm, thank you so much for joining us today. I want you to come back when we'll Keep making these healthy, plant-based dishes on plant-based way of life. Thank you for joining us. Bye for now.